Hi Chris. Hello. Um, Chris, I'm not sure if you're aware, but quite a few years ago, about 50, 60 years ago, there was a great interest in psychic ability. The, you know, the, the governments used to research it. Um, nowadays we have things like ESP testing cards with five sure. symbols on them. Um, now, when the original set of ESP testing cards come out, there was more than five, there was about 70 odd cards. The, the five that they use now were the five that they truly believe are the easiest to transmit telepathically. Okay. Um, but what we have here is a psychological testing card. Now these were some of the other symbols that they used to try out and used to test. Um, so do me a favor, just actually before we do anything, I just want to write something down here. Okay, Chris, I'm going to pop this down in front of you. Mm. Um, now, what I want you to do is just pick up that card, just examine it, and make sure that all the symbols are different on both sides. Mm, yep. Yep. And hold it up. Yep. Um, if you hold it here, we're both going to choose a symbol. Because they're all different, I'll choose one from this side, you choose one from the other side. That way, uh, we know we're not going to choose the same Okay, thing. I got one. You got one? Yeah. Okay. Now, before you do anything, you can put the card down. We'll put it under there. I'm not going to peek at it or... Um, before we do anything, I'm just going to draw um, my symbol down. Okay, we're going to try something out here. Just clear your mind of everything. Hold your hand out. As soon as this touches your hand, I want you to name the first card that comes into your mind. As soon as it touches your hand. Four now. diamonds. Four diamonds. Just write 4D. 4D. Four four yeah. Okay. 4D. Okay. Now once again, hold your hand up. Yep. I want you to place this in your hand, and I want you to draw the image on there that you're just thinking about. Okay. And not show you? Uh, it doesn't matter if you show me, actually. Okay. It's not that sort of effect. Okay, it's very important you realize that um, both my predictions, everything I thought of, come before any thought process that you may have given to, to the card or the symbol. Yep. Yeah? Yeah. Um, now to take the experiment one stage further, I actually got a packet of cards um, and on the back of each card I've, I've drawn all the symbols, all 52 okay. symbols, the most popular symbols. But we're going to go through here, you chose the four of diamonds. Yeah? Indeed. And that was a random choice, there was nothing that I'd shown you beforehand that could have been no, a good no. choice. As soon as that piece of paper hit your hand, you just immediately thought of the four of diamonds. I did. Um, and you thought of the cute slightly chubby, Your smiley, smiley face, face. Yeah, like mine, no. which we've Hello. got there. Um, Chris, this, if this works, this should really, I expect, freak you out. Mm. Um, before we started, I wrote the name of a playing card on here. As soon as you held it, this image came into your mind. Yes. Okay, pick up the paper, open it up, let's see my prediction. There it is. Nine of diamonds. Nine of diamonds. Nine di Hello? And a nine of, nine of diamonds is on the face, uh, on the back of the uh, smiley face card. Now, once again, I drew a symbol on here. Yes. As soon as you touched it, you thought of the four of diamonds. So don't oversee what dream, uh, symbol I drew. Kind of a weird sort of... 24-ish type of mark. Ish. Turn over the card. There it is. 24. It's very weird. Very weird indeed. That's... Uh, Gary Jones is fantastic for one.